Hey everybody, it's me Joe and I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about questions that you can ask me or any teacher. So there's some questions that are really good questions and are helpful and there's other questions that are actually not so helpful. All right. So today I'm going to talk to you about those and tell you which ones are good and which ones are mm, not so good. Also, if this is your first time visiting my channel, hi there. My name is Joe. I teach English to foreign students at a university in Canada. And if you want to improve your speaking and your grammar and uh, anything related to English, you should consider subscribing to my channel and, really important, hit that notification bell down below because when I release a new video or if I have a live YouTube lesson, you can be notified and then you can come and we can hang out and I can help you with your English. Okay, the way I want to do this is I want to first tell you what are some common questions that I hear that are not great questions. Then I'll replace it, okay, with a better question that can help you. So here's the first one. Many students might ask me, Joe, how do I improve my reading? Okay, okay, uh, but I think you already know the answer. How do you improve anything? How do you improve your cooking? How do you improve your soccer skills? You got to practice. You have to do it, right? So how do I improve my reading? You know you just have to read more, okay? So I don't think that is actually the question that can help you the most. You know that answer. How about a different question such as, do you know any good books for a student my level? Huh? All right then you're asking something that you don't know, but the teacher might. Do you, any, do you know any good books for a student my level? So then the teacher could make you some suggestions like, oh, some students in my class before you, they read this and this and this, and they really enjoyed them and it really helped them. That's a better question. All right. Question number two that I don't think is so good is, how do I get rid of my accent? I don't want anyone to get rid of their accent. Accents are part of who you are. You're from a different part of the world and your accent is part of the people and the culture that live there. And that's wonderful. It's beautiful. Imagine if all of us spoke with the same accent. It would be a very boring world. Okay? And one of the great things about English is that it has multiple accents around the world. I speak my way. I'm from Eastern Canada, but that's not the same as somebody from another part of Canada or down in the United States, somebody from Texas, people over in England or Ireland. What about the people in Hong Kong or India or the Philippines? Lots of people speak English with different accents. All right. So you don't want to get rid of your accent. That's not the question. And I think what would be a better question might be, is my accent a problem? Okay. So if you have a very thick accent and it interferes with pronunciation and people don't understand what you're saying, then possibly it can be a problem for some words, not totally just for some words. But still then, I still don't think it's an, a, an absolute problem. I think what you can do in those cases is learn to say other words or describe what you're trying to say. All right. Some words are hard to say. I, I play around with my students and I try to speak their languages. And there's some words I cannot say correctly in their languages. It's just because I was, I grew up in a different country, but I can explain things instead of just saying that one word. And that is a survival skill that can be useful anytime. 
Question number three that I don't think is quite right is, how do I get a native speaking partner? All right, maybe you want to speak to someone who's from Canada or the United States or England, a native speaker. So how do you get one? Well, I think you know how. <laughs> Probably you're going to have to hire someone, hire a private teacher on Google. And it's going to cost you money because there are not, you know, millions of people just waiting around to speak to you and help you learn your language. All right. So if you want a native speaker, you may have to pay for it. Okay. It's the same way as I, if, say, if you were from uh, France and I say, how do I get a French person to paint my house? All right. There's no French people that are going to volunteer to paint my house, right? So what would be a better and more helpful question would be, do I need a native speaking partner? And in my experience, no, you do not. If you have a friend who's from Canada, United States, England, Ireland, Australia, something, good for you. Wonderful. But you don't need it, right? I know lots of students. In fact, I know, I know a lady who's from Poland and she gets along with a, another lady who's from France and they talk every day. They are not native speakers, but then those two women talking together as much as they can really, really, really helps them both improve their English. It's just practice. The same way as two people went out and practiced soccer together. Neither one of them is a professional. But helping each other helps them both get better. All right. Number four. Number four, uh, a question that is not quite a very good question. When you ask, what does this word mean? All right. When you ask a teacher, what does this word mean? Sometimes they think you haven't done any work on your own. Right. If you're talking, especially if you're over the internet, we know you have a computer or a, tele a cell phone, so you have access to Google, which is the biggest dictionary in the world. Look it up yourself, right? But if you ask a teacher, hey, Joe, what does, what does development mean? Then I know, or I'm thinking, ah, you didn't even look it up. Maybe you're one of those lazy students that I should not help. I should spend my time helping other hard-working students. Do you see? Do you see what you're doing? So what's a better, what's a better question? I think for this one there could be two. What's the main difference between mm and mm? All right. So if there's two words that are very similar and you've looked them up, you know the meanings. All right. That could be a question. Or you could say, Am I using this word correctly in this sentence? You write a sentence and ask the teacher, is it used correctly? All right. That means you're showing the teacher, hey, I know what the word means. I've done the work. I've written a sentence. Now, is this sentence correct? Then the teacher, all the teacher has to do is look at it and say yes or no. But they know that you have done more work. You're not lazy. Better question. Here's number five. Here's a question that's, you know, not so great because you know the answer. How do I improve my speaking? We already talked about that with reading. You know how you improve your speaking. You got to speak, right? Get some partners and start speaking. But maybe another question could be, how much should I practice speaking? Okay. Or do you know how I can find a partner? That could be a better question. All right. So I think you should practice speaking as much as you can. And do I know how you can find a partner? Yes, I do. Every Saturday, I make a post on my Instagram channel to try and get people together so they can practice speaking. Hundreds of people write in there and they, they find each other. You can do it too. All right. And then start practicing. Find many partners. All right. Here's a question that's not a great question is, can you help me learn English? Of course, I'm a teacher. I help people learn English every day. Of course I can. Now, is that what you mean? Or do you mean, can you help me learn English for free? <laughs> I can do that too. 
but maybe a better question might be, in what ways do you help people learn English? So if you're asking a teacher online, maybe they just have an Instagram page. Okay. If, if that's it, then that's the way they help people. Maybe they have an Instagram page and they also have a YouTube channel like me. Perhaps they also have a WhatsApp group like another wonderful teacher I know. All right. So if you ask them, in what ways can you help me? Then you can see the many different ways, what they have to offer. That can be useful. And here's question number seven. This one's not so great. How do I memorize words? All right. Now, I think most teachers will agree that memorizing words is not a good long term solution. If you have a test tomorrow on some vocabulary, then yes, you can take a look at that list and memorize that list and maybe do really well on the test tomorrow. Just memorize. You know how to do it in your own language. Same thing in English. But if you want to actually remember these words for a long time and use them so they become part of your vocabulary, then memorization is not the right way. A better way would be, what's the best way to improve my vocabulary? All right. I want to learn more words. What's the best way? What's the fastest way, the most efficient way to improve my vocabulary? All right. And I've made other videos about this and you might see them here. <laughs> I talk about reading for fun. I think reading for fun, especially a book that you're really interested in, book or magazine or website, will motivate you and it'll help you learn in a more natural way. All right. So those are seven questionable questions. Maybe don't ask those anymore. And seven different questions on the same topic that can be really helpful. Now, do you have any other questions? I hope you do. If you have any questions about this video or any questions about English, write them down in the comments. I love writing back to students. I love it. All right. I can give you more tips, more help. All right. If uh, you check in the notes below this video, you'll also see links to other opportunities to learn English. All right. I want to keep you learning. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you write to me. All right. Bye bye.